we are at some boring part reading the manual uh, and we need to figure out what goes where on the NASA so we have the GPS we have the vSense and we have the connections for our uh, receiver and according to the manual we'll check we have three suggestions for GA radio for Futaba and high tech and for Futaba S bus and I'm using a GA radio with Scherer long range for this part so uh, we have on the NASA controller already printed A for Aleron, E for Elevator, T for Throttle, R for uh, Rudder, and U, X1, X2 and X3. So U is used for, let's have a look, two, three position switch channel. That's where we're going to switch between the different modes. And we got a LED port. It says LED and it's the one in the upper part. And we got the expansion port routed to the NASA GPS. So just a simple check is the lead should go into the lead. And GPS to the expansion port. this up later on then we got on the other side of the NASA controller outputs for motor 1 2 3 4 5 6 and F1 and F2 which according to the manual is F1 is the roll uh, for the camera gimbal, the roll, and F2 is for pitch in the camera gimbal. Uh, what I just did forget to mention is about the V-Sense. We have a red and black plus and minus they are supposed to be soldered to the TBS board so that we can measure the voltage of the light bulb uh, we have this cable for the LED port and then we have a normal servo wire According to the manual, it is supposed to be inserted to port X3. And those cables are the LiPo voltage measurement. And what we need to figure out is the way we have configured our radio the manual is for the default settings 
at I'm an old Futaba flyer. So I'm used to the Futaba channel assignments, but I'm using a GIA radio. So let's turn this on. You need to check your manual for your radio, how to go through the menus and figure out on which channel which function is. So what I'm gonna do is get the pen. I will go into the channel assignment menu where I can see in my Gear radio channel number one is throttle. So I just write it down one equals throttle, two equals layer on, three equals elevator. And four equals my rudder. Then you need to set up a three position switch. Uh, I'm used the flap button on my gear radio. You might like to have the switch on the left hand or on the right hand or at your fingertips it all depends the way you're used to fly or what feels good during your flight i'm used to have this leveler because i use the same in all my multi-rotor setups and this button is just equal to four, five, six, seven. Channel seven, which is on the radio AUX2. And it's connected to my three position switch. Then we are ready. We have made a channel map. Double check the radio, which channel goes where. And then we know which output on the NASA should go where. So then it's time to unpack all those small servo wires, which are contained in a little ESD plastic bag and what we are using is channel 1 for throttle so I hook up the servo cables for all channels Layer on elevator throttle, we need the rod cable, and we also need the three position switch for selecting mode. X1 and X2 is not going to be used, so I put back these three. Extra cables in the back so that we can find them if we need them for some other projects. So these are gonna be connected to the receiver. We have the LED port for our VSENS, we have the expansion port for the NASA G compass. We have the X3 port for the VSense. And we're gonna use 
shows motor 1, 2, 3 and 4 since this is a quad. We have matched our radio to the NASA. We know which channel goes where. What we now need to figure out is which motor are supposed to be connected to which port on the NASA. Uh, we have the NASA motor open manual on page 37. We have the quadrotor X and motor F is front right, motor 2 is front left, motor 3 rear left and motor 4 rear right. And to make this a little easier, we can see that motor 1 is 9 it's going to be my 9 by 5 E-prop, which is um, anti-clockwise. And motor 2 is going to be a 9 by 5 clockwise. And those are named L for the Grotner. By making this it's easier, the rear right is going to be a 9 by 5 left, and motor 3 is clockwise, anti clockwise, sorry, so it's a normal 9 by 5. So, I'm going to put props away. Put the rest of the manual away. As these are the two needed manual pages for our next step.